so, um, <gasps> Frenchie went live, um, earlier this afternoon, and the first two stories she covered were the vlogs, which I have already covered, so I'm not going to bother with that, but apparently there was a new live stream out where she did a mukbang, which was hilarious. Because, um, first of all, it looked like she cooked up something that was, like, hamburger helper. And she had a cut, she, she had, like, a cut in the middle of it where her plate filled up again. <laughs> it just, like, randomly fills up again. This is so good, you guys. Yeah, a blessed day, inshallah. Get off of my screen, you beach. Pizza Kitty, thank you for the super chat. Six packs start with the keg, go with the pony, then a 30 pack. Oh boy. Well, that's what she's building up to. Ay, ay, ay. All right, let's close this one. We have one more react, and it is the live stream. Cheesy, beefy, pasta bake, and show and tell live. Because what's the first meal that you should cook after having a sit down video about being serious this time about your weight loss and your health and journaling and blah, blah, blah? No, but it's so great because, um, especially in this one, uh, she makes it very clear that she's watching the React channels and hearing our feedback um, and uh, trying to apply it. I appreciate that, Chantel. You're at least trying to apply it. But, um, girl, oh my God. Oh my God, even. Why? Pasta with cheese and beef. Seems healthy to me. Let me get the tab. Mm-hmm. Club chocks. Can you see what I'm eating? <sighs> There's something very wrong about... Okay. So one of the things that I was thinking... I don't think I actually articulated this on... Um, my react but uh one of the things i was thinking is that she's sitting way the fuck too close to the camera right so in this live stream she's sitting a little further back but let me show you like what i've been thinking for months about what she looks like in this particular outfit when she's sitting at this mukbang table the never-ending story. There's something very wrong about Chantel's neck. And it probably has to do with that hump that's forming on her back. Her neck is sticking way the fuck out whenever she's um, sitting at that table. Um, it's probably happening more than that, but like I notice it the most when she's doing her mukbang tables and especially when she's in the all black outfit so anyway um this came out when she was very young but she's probably aware of this movie and knows of it and <laughs> this is what she reminds me of when she does this bullshit Okay, let's get back to it. Okay. Anyways. Mm hmm Anyways. So that's her mukbang table. And she's sitting in Salah's gaming chair, which the hydraulics has failed because she kept flopping down in it and so she destroyed the chair because she doesn't know how to at her size properly sit down in a chair without destroying it um i mean there's lots of us who have um disabilities in which we have to be much more careful when we sit down and apparently Chantel does not give a shit so her little Darth Vader chair there is ruined. Here go, Kiara. <laughs> Nikki, 
PCP. What's going on, guys? Oh, my God, Nancy. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm with you, girl. Thank you for the super chat. I thought the same. I'm like, no, I'm not going to say it. Everyone's like, oh, she's so petty. And she says she always has a comment about everything. But you're right. You can't fill a freezer so everything is, like, touching all the walls on all the sides. You need the airflow. Oh, let's talk about that refrigerator situation for a second. So she cleared everything out before she went to Canada, right? There was nothing but a couple of condiments in there. And um, there's a ton of mold on the shelves now. The reason being is that when you abandon a refrigerator, you have to unplug it and then put like a, um, one of those like pool noodles in the doors so that they stay open and are aerated while you're gone. Because um, they do have condensation in them and they will grow mold. So she has mold all over her shelves at this point. But um, that is not a plate, Chantel. That is a serving platter. That is a serving platter. It's not a plate. Hold on, I gotta reach for something. <laughs> it's a big ordeal. Water! Mm -hmm. In Arabic, it's called Mai. Mm -hmm. Hi, everybody. Did I miss? Gabriel? Well... Listen, she could just go back to the, the kitchen and fill that plate up. I'm not so delusional, okay? I was going to say, while this is a much, 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 much smaller portion than she would normally have on camera, let's say. No, it's quite large. That's a serving platter. That's not a plate. It's still bigger than it was the other day. I noticed the portion already getting a little bigger. A little bigger. And, I mean... If you believe that this is all she's going to eat of that, pass a bless. Jessica, thank you for the super chat. Weather is getting hot in Kuwait. That food is going to the garbage. She'll be too hot to cook. This food could have went to someone who needed it. Absolutely. Totally, totally agreed. Cheryl, Gemini, Gem, Joanne. Hi, babe. Thank you. Uh, Elbic. You're in Turkey? Air trends? Enjoy. Where are you, Antalya? Fernanda. Vanessa. If I miss you, I don't mean to. Just let me know. Amelia. Hi, Carrie and Minnie, Andre Marie, Anastasia, Barbara, Colleen, Mira, Sherry. I'm going to bring you guys closer after I'm just eating right now. A lot of you like to see what I'm eating. So, right. so what we have is, I've never been to Tur Turkey. Hi, Sherry. I've never been to Turkey yet. No. Nikki, I made the shells. Yeah. S-Y-L, Hannah, hello. The never-ending story. Hannah, hello. When it comes to them. I can't with the individual hellos. It drives me nuts. Sugarfoot Pondu, thank you for the super chat. I have a family of four and we go through a gallon of milk in two weeks. She's so extra. Agreed. Have any of you sat at a dining room table, a lunch table, a breakfast table with anybody whose face was one, like not even an inch above the plate that they were going to be eating off of that wasn't a toddler. Like, have you ever had that experience where you're having a meal with somebody and their face is right the fuck up to the plate? This is so weird that she does this. But in this case, although I agree she is so extra, I don't think she has a choice in this one. Because it's like, if they think you have the family like that, they're just going to give you the milk. Yeah, Cher Bear, good question. Where the hell are her glasses? Two days now, we don't see the glasses. Did she sit on them on the way home? Oh, they come back. But where's the television? She used to have a television mounted on the wall on her left side and there was a buffet under it and they had removed that particular couch out of the room 
so what the hell is happening now because like you finally made the room look reasonable where you could have some space because as you say i'm a large woman yes you are you're a super um obese woman and um you have so much f furniture in the room that you can't even walk around that room did she lose them something happened you're going to hawaii mashallah i do need glasses i should go get them but uh oh okay it's not a tourist area <laughs> i see um but that's okay i'm gonna bring you guys closer uh, so i made for dinner hi keisha baked pasta with shells so it's with shells um this is arugula with pickles hi paul little dog welcome to lamb and she's gonna eat the salad with her bare hands because that's how she rolls hello sister so i have some shells uh ground beef sauce oh my god is that how she's fucking with my eye? like my eye the, the perception of the is that a serving platter and not a plate and yes. so is that serving of macaroni much bigger why do those shells look so big what's going on yes that's a serving platter look at the shape of it it's like oval it's not a round plate that's a serving platter come on ffg come on frenchy girlfriend are those some big ass shells or are my eyes fucked up because suddenly that plate looks huge the shells look huge what is this and like i put cheese on it and i baked it and i have some potato buns with a bit of butter and that's my dinner potato <laughs> buns. thank you hannah and julia's eating her crunchies okay so she got those um potato hamburger buns and she basically toasted them up and put cheese on them, you guys. That's supposed to be used for making, like, hamburgers. And she's like, no, this is going to be my side bread tonight. Okay. I'm going to try to be moderate with the cheese. <laughs> and we have here a huge bay leaf. So I'm going to put that away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Julia's eating. Isabel. Thanks, Fernanda. Yeah, so bismillah. I'm going to eat now. Let's start with a pickle. And I have ice. Uh, okay, look, look. When her hand is close like that to the camera, it puts the platter into perspective, doesn't it? I don't think that's a serving. Like a, a plate. Yes, I think that's is. a platter. That's a serving dish. Yeah, it's a serving platter. It's absolutely a serving platter. And those are some big shells. Look at her finger and look at the size of one of those shells. That's not a normal shell. That's a bigger shell. Okay. And that is one hell of a plate. But still, for her, this is a very small portion. Still. Water. I don't know about that. <laughs> Sorry. If I make you hungry, let's try this. I don't usually like shells, but... Salah and I have pasta wars because I like spaghetti. And he doesn't like spaghetti. <laughs> he likes macaroni and shells. But I, I don't mind them. Oh, and I put cream. A little bit of cream. That's lush. I'm sorry. What is uh, macaroni and shells exactly? Are you talking about, like, macaroni and cheese? Because macaroni and shells are both pasta dishes, Chantel. So, what are you talking about? What exactly is it that your husband likes? Because clearly you cook for him, right? And he knows that you're going to cook something that he likes because you know what he likes. What the fuck is macaroni and shells, Chantel? A splash. All the cream went into that sauce. We all get it. A splash of cream. Marvin, thank you for the super chat. The plate goes from shoulder to shoulder. You're right. You're right. Mandy, is this true? Do you think? No, those aren't the shells that you stuff. They look a little too small to be the shells you stuff. Do you stuff small ones too? I've never seen that. I've just seen like fucking huge ones. No, this is the kind of shit that you do for like um, hamburger helper. And you just 
that that portion on her plate would be served out to a an entire family as like fourths they would fourth out the portions of her meal for like four different people it's ridiculous what she puts down her throat but she's a very sick woman so what are you gonna do stuffed i don't know food bank only had shells maybe there was a pack of spaghetti there i remember in the hall though there was spaghettis but he doesn't like spaghetti. They're too long for him. He needs mommy to cut them up. So his mommy's like, I need a night off. You're eating shells. God damn, dude. Danielle? The bay leaf. Mmm. <laughs> need some more salt, actually. Okay, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to get my glasses, too. Huh. Didn't she just say she didn't have her glasses anymore? And now she has them all of a sudden. Okay. I love when she just ditches. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, Lucky Limes. She's in Kuwait. This the living room in Kuwait right now. Visa passed. Chantal gone. When the as soon as the pay hit her account. <laughs> yeah, but she's got her Empire Strikes Back chair that she destroyed the hydraulics on, just sitting there in the background, looking sad as Julia. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> These are gonna fog up. Oh, glasses. Holy Vard. Amanda, welcome salam. I think it needs gravy. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Can always use. It looks a bit dry, I know. But it's what? not like a really because I baked it, so the noodles kind of absorb a lot of the the sauce. Oh my god. Mm, so much better. Mm. These are going to fog up. <laughs> Why? Why are your glasses going to fog up? The only time my glasses ever fogged up was when we were in the thick of COVID and I had to wear a face shield and a mask. And I had to wear my glasses so I could see the addresses. That was the only time my glasses have ever fogged up. So what's going on with your face, girlfriend, that your glasses are fogging up? Because that doesn't, that shit does not happen to me. And you know what? I live in a desert too, girlfriend. Let me cool off first. Mm. So, there you go. Cool off. You need to cool off already. Oh, right. this is going to be one hot fucking summer. It's yeah. a pasta bake. She wasn't even really slaving in the kitchen. It was in the oven. But I guess just the heat that the oven created in the house, not enough for the air conditioner to back. Well, where's her little hand uh, fan that she likes to carry around with her? What happened to that? Oh, she's sweating, y'all. Thank you, Joanna. Joanne. Anything is not mm -hmm. working or what? Yeah, I made this not long ago for dinner. For breakfast, I had like just little breakfast things like bread, macaroni cheese. Mm-hmm. Oh, get your hands right in there, girlfriend. I think it's been okay. Carrie, uh, Carrie, I'm still recovering from. God, you're so. That trip was brutal on my body. <laughs> I'm sure it's like. Mm, Stasia, thank you for the super chat. She said she's saying like this so that you can really see the food. Because don't you really want to see the food? <laughs> oh my God. That's a massive serving dish. It does look very large. Even with her hand hovering over it and stuff for like size. Dude, that's like a turkey platter. That is a massive serving dish. Come on perspective it still does look really large yeah pixie thank you for the super chat she shook salt on it for 16 seconds straight awesome mm, mm, mm. hard to do for an average person that's not doesn't have all the health issues i have you know <laughs> mm. 
But I made it. I'm gonna go about, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm very happy to be here. It's fucking <laughs> to hear a 40 year old woman say, like, talking about flying from Canada to Kuwait. I made it. Did like, it sounds like she took the fucking Oregon Trail. <laughs> she was in a kind of a, uh, you know, being led by a fucking horse or whatever. It was one hell of a journey, but I made it. Mm -hmm. Look at now, man. It's a flight. If it's that, like, grueling, you shouldn't be doing it. Well, can you imagine if she was, like, part of the, um, the tribe that had to go over the Sierra Nevada? They went through the... Um, they went through Utah, right? And then they got stuck in a snowstorm in the Sierra Nevada and they all started cannibalizing each other. Who do you think they're going to go for first? Let's be real. Well, I come to Lama, Moki. Thank you. <laughs> it's very good. Mm hmm. Oh, uh huh. Hi, Heather. My skin is a red right now. Yeah, it's a meat sauce with ground beef. Yep. God, please stop putting your hands in the food. Please stop doing that. I love arugula. Oh, Vanessa. All my people used to die of dysentery. She'll be the first one that dies of sugar foot. The emojis. Where's Kona, Gabrielle? Never heard of that. I feel like editing another video, though. So. Mm, mm, mm. Hawaii. Ah, oh, thanks, Heather. I'm doing okay. Thank you. Don't ask me. That's nice of you. I wish you the same. Julia. God, leave your cat alone, please. It is very yummy. <laughs> the shells are bigger than I thought. Like, they don't look big in the package. And then when you cook them, they, look, they blow it up, you know? Mm -hmm. So. Oh, this is so dry. Let's go home. The stream is more dry than that pasta. And that is really fucking saying something. I don't think we'll be able to, so that's busy right now. But we will. We will go out. Right. Uh, around. I'm just, like, getting settled back in. It takes me longer. Oh, yes. When you're with a man who's like, I don't have any time for you. That's a great sign, Chantal. Than probably most people. <laughs> Seriously. I'm so tired all the time, like. Right now I'm okay, but... Do you see how the plate just filled up again? The plate just filled up again, and the bread is now missing. There was a cut shot, and she refilled her plate. Amazing, Chantel. I need to reset my, like, circadian rhythm, if I even ever had one, I don't know. <laughs> You're up all night, almost every night. What what rhythm? You had no rhythm. That's always been a problem. Jessica, thank you for the super chat. You love the new content. Doesn't it feel familiar? I mean, it feels familiar. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I have to like get used to everything again. Um, finally, I have everything unpacked though. I'm put away. This is good. At least. But the time difference is, like, so weird for me with you guys. Like, you guys, it's going to be, like, weird timing for my live streams now again. <sighs> yeah. That doesn't even make any sense. Like, I used to live in Virginia, and I would visit my family in California every year um, and fly back and forth. And I'll tell you, flying back to Virginia was a hell of a lot easier 
than flying to California because of the time change. So when you're flying from California to Virginia, it, it, it's, you show up and it's like, okay, time for bed, let's go, whatever, no big deal. But when you fly from Virginia to California, you're like, oh my God, I'm waking up at like four in the morning. I I don't understand what she's saying here. And also the fact that she doesn't have a real job and has no real responsibilities. It shouldn't even matter. Exactly. Hi, Energy Egg. Pizza or pasta? Pasta. What about you guys? And congrats, Energy Egg. No, I just eat the arugula just like that. Because why? when I first came to Kuwait, I was like, how do you guys eat bitter greens like with everything, with no dressing? You know? Don't cry. Come here. If you're in the middle of telling us a story, Chantel, don't fucking interrupt us with your stupid ass cat call trying to harass Julia. Okay? Just get to the goddamn point. Oh. How are the videos that we watch so boring and yet somehow this is way worse? What the fuck? Veronica wants coffee. Thank you for the super chat. The pasta seems to have multiplied. It's amazing. It sure did. Why do you want attention 24-7? You missed me, huh? And, um... What was I gonna say? Yeah, right. Yeah, you just get used to it. You get no, you don't get used to it. You're you're turning into a Neanderthal. I mean, you already want, were one, but you literally could have put that in a bowl on the side with some light dressing and used your fork. But like that's how you roll. So whatever. Do it, you know. And then you start craving it. It's weird. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, you get used to it and you start craving the bitterness. Like, it complements the meal. Really? Does that? Uh, I don't know, Energy. Hi, Jessica. You're keeping me company while I tan by the pool in Florida. Awesome, Kate. Enjoy Dude, she's so mad that she got that comment. Because um, she's there's no way she will ever tan by a pool until something happens where she actually loses some weight and decides to leave Salah. It's not going to happen for her. So she's going to make excuses about having sensitive skin, which is bullshit. You're a brunette. Give me a break. You're, you're not a redhead, you're not a blonde, you're a brunette. Um, so y you can put sunscreen on and be just fine. But, um, but you want to come up with this right now because you're jealous that one of your fans just told you that I'm watching you from poolside. You're tan? Mm-hmm. I was on a tanning kick at one point, like, as a teenager. Mm-hmm. Come! Oh, right, 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 um, right, right. Oh, we got, we got to interrupt the story again with, with cat calls to Julia, because um, this is a upsetting thing that she has to address right now, is why she can't get a goddamn tan and some vitamin D, Right. But it just never worked out for me. I just burn. Like, oh, right. You just burn. And then I look weird. Mm-hmm. So I don't know why I bother. 
They have oh, like fucking 50 I want to say keep doing videos and fuck these live streams shut off for real. Uh, it really didn't work out for me. <laughs> chew, chew, chew. Because I kept getting burnt. Chew, chew, chew. Oh mm -hmm. my god. No one cares. Don't, don't do this. She's And she she said it. She was honest. She said she was too lazy to edit a video. So here we are in this live stream. It's awful. Well, I'll tell you straight up, Chantel. Fat looks better tan. Oh, Lucy in the sky with dementia. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> what the F is this? It's awful. That's what it is. Oh. Boy. God damn. She keeps putting her hands. She wants in Harry's room. She's not going there. So gross. Hey, Jessica. Oh, already. <laughs> from what I saw, uh, how many were watching her? From what I saw, it was like 500 and something at the max. And then dipped down to four something. Mm -mm. Before it turns into a summary, really? These pickles are the best. I don't know. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, Chantel? What are you doing? Thanks, Mom Corner. <laughs> hey, Kim Richards. The cheese is like... <clears throat> Love how she holds that spoon. It just fits in with the way she does everything else. And B, thank you for the super chat. It really, it does, eh? Similar. It, it feels so familiar. Hold on, let me fix this. No, you're absolutely right, Frenchie. Nobody taught her actual table manners and how to hold tableware and how to work your way from the outside to the inside from the table setting or how to actually set a table setting. This woman is so fucking uncultured that she she doesn't know shit. She doesn't know shit, and so she just, like, carves her, her fucking claw around that, that spoon, and that's how she's eating her, her fucking, like, hamburger helper bullshit. When I put an under, when I don't put an undercap on, it slips and slides, I forgot to. I'm sorry, what? When I don't put an undercup on, it slips and slides. Is this another one of the things that I mentioned that you need to address? Oh my god, with your fucking bullshit. Oh my god. You're a grown ass woman. You just turned 40. Fucking take care of your business. Gulia, Gulia. Mm -mm. Hey. Oh, stop talking to the fucking cat. Was Julia very clingy when you got home? Yeah, she still is. But I love it. <laughs> oh, I like where she just tucked the plate under. That's where she hides the other plate or the backup sandwich or God only knows what else. Very mm -hmm. interesting setup. I see now how it works. Deep fried dreams. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Yeah, for real. That's her that's her mukbang table. And um she feels like she's some professional mukbanger or something, but she's one of the grossest ones out there. Like there's a little kid who is the world champion at mukbanging and he's thin and normal looking and um he piles it down, but he probably also, like, runs around a soccer field and shit during the day. This chick puts out a professional mukbang table and looks like an absolute clown who eats like a toddler. Because she's a baby dad! I just honestly, like, love her being around me 24-7. <laughs> I'm just going to. I traveled with this both ways, by the way. All right. 
right, now we can, I don't think when I chew, when I don't chew, it will be better. Okay. So guys, <laughs> I would love to see her face. Like she, I don't know. They have to open her bag. She gets selected for screening, whatever the fuck. And they open the bag and it's just box after box after box of hamburger helper, like Tetris into the suitcase. I would love to see the way they would look at her and then she would look at them. Mm -hmm. Guys? Mm -hmm. Hi, Renee. She loves her mama. The pasta was good. I have a lot of leftovers. And so I will eat later when he's back. I lost 89 pounds just crip walking. Really? Crip walking? What's crip? Oh, 18 hours a day? What is crip walking? Oh. Julia? What's the matter? You. The matter is, um, you keep fucking with her. She doesn't want to live there. You're not a good pet owner. And, um, you left her alone for a month. And you don't feed her properly. You're constantly giving her scraps that she shouldn't have. Because it's not safe for her. And, um, she's getting a little sick and tired of your bullshit. Do you want a kissy kiss? No. I don't have a, I have a salt, I actually I do have a salt shaker dispenser, but. Buster didn't want a kissy kiss either, okay? None of these animals like you, Chantel. I'm lazy. You want one of those tables? <laughs> I think I got it on Amazon. Or no, uh -huh. I got it in Thailand. The dance performed by members of the Crips gang. Uh, oh. Um, she who shits herself. That's a good question. How much would you guess uh, she pockets from a live stream like this with like 500 viewers and no super chats? I have no idea. I really don't know. Um, that's so like hard hard to to judge for me. Again, I because most of our videos go yellow, I don't really have a sense at all of like AdSense and how much that pay. I've actually been having better luck on that lately where most of my videos just go straight up green. But I know what you're talking about, Frenchie. Because we usually don't make it over here on this channel. So I, I have no way of even like taking an educated guess at that. I'm sorry. I'd only walk 18 hours a day if someone was chasing me. It's an LA gangster thing. Oh. Hey, comic book. Look at it. What is Nay Nay? Who are you catcalling? Because you're not looking at Julia. So who the fuck are you catcalling right now? I don't know how to do it. She, my cat is, I think, almost two. I don't even know how old she is. Of course not. <laughs> Meet my neighbors? No. We're not, I'm not going to my neighbors. Yes, Akeem. Julia? Come. Tell me home. Right, Carolina? That water looks crisp. It is extra. The water? I'm drinking out of one of those hand mixer blender things. Because it's I need a big, big jar, like a huge. Come, why are you busy? Oh my oh, god. Oh, I hate this. Why does she keep deferring to the cat? She's got nothing going on. And when she keeps on, like, uh, you know, deflecting to something, it's like she's hiding something. Yeah. She's trying to break eye contact with the camera. What's she hiding? What's going on? Mm-mm. The cat's a lot more. What was he wearing? I don't remember. His harness? He always has a harness. He has a, He doesn't always have his harness on, but he has a harness, like, to go out so that, like, you can attach the leash to it. And then he has this, like, in the winter, he has this, like, shiny coat. My mom calls it the Liberace coat. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, she does have the CPAP mark. So what? She made that pasta stuff. She probably ate, then took a nap, mm -hmm. woke up and wanted more pasta. And that's why the plate was like a regular, well, I shouldn't say regular size for her, quite a small portion because she had already eaten when it came out of the oven like the first time. That was not a small portion. Let's be real. Hey, mm. 
I should have brought maple syrup, comic book. Yeah, you're right. I don't plan things well. No, it doesn't hurt. The glasses don't hurt. That's another thing that um, she got from my channel. I said, hey, if you're a Canadian, why the fuck are you not advertising maple syrup? Why aren't you having, like, dollar bill pancakes once in a while as your mukbangs? I literally said that, like, probably a month ago. She fucking takes shit from our React channels, you guys. <clears throat> We're gonna be doing a video. Whoa, whoa, wait. The cat is in heat. You think it's possible? I don't know anything about, like, the rhythm of cats and stuff, but based on the last time she was in heat and stuff, is it possible? Is that what's going on now? <sighs> Are we just going to go through this whole damn thing again? And, oh, she's going to get shit. Everyone's going to tell her to spay the cat instead of spaying the cat. She's going to do whatever the fuck they did last time. They caterwaul quite a bit. I had this problem with my ex-boyfriends back in the aughts where his... Um, female cat he did not spay her right away and so whenever she went in heat we had to listen to her whine all night long while we were trying to you know go to sleep go to work etc etc one night she got out and I said enough enough dude take her and get her spayed now this is your cat your responsibility and um so he took her he got her spayed and she was so mad at him you guys it's so good <laughs> so mad at him um it took her about a week to like really recover from the surgery and that whole week we had her isolated in the master bedroom and she was hissing at him and growling at him and curling up with me. <laughs> so good, you guys. So good. Is it possible the cat's in heat again? She who shits herself. Thank you again for the super chat. Only one animal ever loved her and she wanted to put her in the ground. That's, yeah. that's true. I'm sure Sam loved her too. You know what I mean? It's the saddest part that animals love you even if you mistreat them, right? Yeah. Oh, fucking hell. How sad. Um, sounds like the cat is in heat again. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yup. Oh, no. The way it's meowing, it sounds plausible. Did I say plausible? What? She's yeah, meowing plausible. a lot. Oh, no. Oh, this is so stupid. You know, like, inshallah, soon, like, in the next couple of days. So, yeah, I've just been taking longer than you i've only been here what three or four days four days now it takes me a long time to adjust my dog growls at my husband and son when they kiss her but i can squeeze and kiss her to pieces and she won't growl see exactly carolina ah oh, bbj don't tease me with mall chinese i love mall chinese why i miss mall chinese but okay i wanted to show you some things i got so uh... you're gonna think why are you showing us these things traveling that long is like I, I don't realize how exhausting it is until i get where I need to be because, and then I suffer for a few days because honestly, um, when I'm, when I'm in the traveling, I go in survival mode. I just kind of like grab every ounce of optimism I have in my bones, you know, I'm proud of him for your health journey. Thank you. Illegally blonde mall Italian restaurant, <laughs> Italian restaurant and it had like Chinese food. Yeah. There's it's weird, but the food was good you know your birthday was march 28th so why is it that you're waiting so long to show us birthday gifts it seems like a very junior high move to make again because like if it mattered to you in the moment you would have showed us in the moment but you didn't and so now you're back in Kuwait and you're like, look at all this stuff that I got for my birthday like over a month ago. Today is April 28th. Today is the day you did this live stream. It's a month out from your birthday, Chantel. 
I don't know. Um, yeah. So yeah. Okay. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, wasn't she gonna? She's still really tired. Can we go? Yeah. Does no traveling like the journey from the west to the east is the hardest. I heard like for time. Off the the journey from the western world to the eastern world, my home is the worst. Oh, shut up! Like time change wise on the body, we we can do a mall walk, especially the avenues mall. You guys, you should look it up. It's like the hugest mall. I swear, I don't know if it's the hugest mall in the Middle East. I think it is up there. Not many people enjoy flights. I was watching videos. Um, hold on a second, okay. What? What is happening right now? Okay. So here's what people were talking about on Twitter. Who's she talking to right now? Because she's already established that Salad is not there. So why is she muting right now? And who is she talking to? Now that you guys put the idea in my mind that the cat's in heat again, is it possible the cat started doing that meow thing like they do when they're in heat? And so she doesn't want everyone to know the cat's in heat. And just start getting shit for it. So she muted and she's talking to the cat. <laughs> Is that nuts? Is it possible? Where'd she go? What? What is this? She could quite literally, if Julia was being a problem, put her in the master bedroom and close the door. She might scratch on the door fine, but that's going to be a far and distant sound compared to what she's going to do in the room right there with her. Um, so I don't know what's happening here, but like oftentimes she just takes off and it doesn't make any sense. Hmm. She's yelling at the cat, like yelling at the cat to shut up, you think? Aw. I hope not. Oh, fucking hell. Mrs. P, thank you for the super chat. Just adopted a Mastiff and Cane Corso pup. That is so cute. Enjoy your little baby while they're small. I'm guessing yours won't be small for long. Enjoy. Aw. <gasps> food delivery? Okay, could be food delivery. Mm. That's a theory. Food delivery. The cat's at the window, though. Yeah, so maybe she went off, just off camera, so that we wouldn't see her, like, the body language of the screaming and all the jiggling that probably goes with it. Hey! Nah, 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 nah. You know what I mean? Is it... Oh, <laughs> Will came running. <laughs> she went for a yogurt. Jesus Christ. No, she needed a snack after all that yelling. Oh, God. <laughs> the clutter on my table. <laughs> Ooh, a dark velvet green. Okay, I'm going to have fresh yogurt after for my dessert. Right. Strawberry. Yeah. I know I'm not, like, eating super clean, but like I said in my video, I'm being realistic, and I'm starting small. I'm trying to keep the binges away. So if I super restrict right I'm sorry, a turkey platter is not starting small, Chantel. Now and go down to, like, like I said, I have quinoa trauma from not doing that. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, my God, that's a cute name, Cinnamon, I love it. Yeah, I think so. <sighs> Ooh, a throw blanket for the couch, yeah. Baby girl, baby girl. Yes, <laughs> coming from the bags. <laughs> she, I leave all the bags for her for at least a day. Hi, Anna. Looks clean. Thank you. We don't, we don't like sit, like, like I said, we, we, like when there's company, yes, but it's so easy to clean the living room. That's the easiest. Really? When company, stop it. Stop it can't even get your fucking fake husband to be there what company are you talking about for real just tidy up the tea or whatever you put out the pillows whatever <laughs> they're called throw pillows for a reason you just throw them i had cottage cheese with apples uh -huh. you know what i hissy fits i'm so mad about this i loved cottage cheese until i caught the, the norovirus flu because i was eating cottage cheese right before i got sick and so everything i ate before that like when i was no, actually, I'm fairly certain that you went to a Chinese buffet right before you got sick. Right? 
Chinese buffet in America on the other side of the board, uh, the border from Cornwall, right? Get a Chinese buffet meal. Now you're like, oh, I was eating cottage cheese. <laughs> I don't know why she has to lie about everything. She literally went to a Chinese buffet right before she said she had norovirus, which she didn't have. She probably had some sort of spike in her blood sugar. And um, she, she probably had the... Um, she, she was dehydrated, right? She was having some dehydration issues, but in the days leading up to that, it was very clear that she was also doing a lot of drugs. So, um, can you stop lying, girlfriend, please? <laughs> Cottage cheese. Give me a break. Before I got sick. <sighs> the mm -hmm. thought of it, I don't know. But I used to love it. When will you have another life? Right. I don't know. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Corey. No, just joking. Can we build a pillow mountain? I guess. Dry kiwi. Wow. Yeah, that sounds good. The weather's hot here. Coco. It's like it was thirty six today. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh, thirty six. <laughs> but I came back to Kuwait to do all my couples content and do stuff and walk around and blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. Sure. Oh, well, I don't know. It's like 15 in my apartment. Mm hmm Yeah, he's happy. This is also the woman who won't get a wetsuit. Um, they do make actual wetsuits with the um, covering for the head for Muslim women who want to go in the ocean, want to go swimming, whatever, right? Like, that is a thing. And she could totally get that. And there is a pool in the lobby of her apartment. And she is such a lazy motherfucker that she won't go down there and enjoy the coolness of the pool and maybe do some laps. Okay. Um, so, here's some things I got. So... My 40th birthday, I think I showed you guys, a, my mom was like, go up, like, don't come down yet, cutie, like, when I was upstairs in, in the room, and she, like, I came down at the dinner table, and there was, like, all balloons, like, you're 40, and there was this thing, <laughs> so I brought it as a souvenir. Um yes, lovely. 40 aged perfection, yeah, right? Thank you, mom. <laughs> you're always perfect in the eyes of your kids, I guess. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh, just freezing, really? That's sad. I, I don't, I don't want to do that. I want to take anyone's views. Bailey Brooke. Well, that's cute that her ma did that for her because Lord knows her husband would not have if she had been in Kuwait for her birthday. Happy birthday, cutie. And he pinches her cheek and moves along. Hey. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so this is like a little plaque. And then she had all my gifts. Like she does gift bags really nice. So, um, yeah, they just gave me some things. Like uh, for my birthday gifts, these are not birthday gifts I'm showing you, really. These are just, like, things that gave me extra gifts. For my birthday, like I said, gift cards. Um, what else? Hi, Rhonda. Um, what else did I get? Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, sorry, because I'm, I'm reading the comments. So, gift cards, clothes, which I'm going to do a whole different video with all my show doing, like, a clothing try-on. And how I make my Western clothes modest because the V-necks on those clothes in Canada are insane. Um, right. so yeah, you'll okay. see <clears throat> clothes and like stuff like that, you know, but I, I'm just confused. If you're, did your mom buy you these clothes? And if she did, why would she buy like deep V neck stuff for her like converted Muslim daughter? Or did you pick those clothes? Cause then Sharmota, why are you picking the V necks? Eh? You want your low beams hanging out? The rest of the world is not just saying. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. Mm-hmm. 100%. Mostly, like, monetary and stuff. So, okay. Um, what else? Okay, so, yeah, I got a hand-me-down <laughs> Marcel 
face powder, hypoallergenic. Marcel is really, it, it is hypoallergenic. So mm -hmm. like my mom buys everything Marcel. She uses it once and she'll say she doesn't like it and she'll give it to me. Like, I don't know. So I have a Marcel, full Marcel face powder and I really like it actually. Um, my sister didn't like this, Born Ruby, just like a, a blush, like a cream blush. Let's see how red I can make my cheeks. Hi, did you see this trend? where people are like um, taking broccoli and they're making freckles with it. <laughs> I want to leave this planet. Okay. Mm. Oh, this is good. Okay. This is like a close enough thing. I like this. Kathleen, thank you. Mm. Temperature reference. 37 is 98.6. So here I'm going to go. 37 is like a hundred ish. <laughs> and that's what it'll be. 37, a hundred ish. Mm -hmm. Okay. Easy. I'll probably forget, but I like that still. My CPAP marks haven't fully gone away today. What if I get perma marks from my CPAP? What am I going to do? Oh, no. I need to put makeup on before because now I look really like I have hypertension. I probably do. Actually, my blood, my, when my blood pressure was low in the hospital. I was It was because I was sick, but I was low-key, like, yeah, flexing. <laughs> to the doctor, I was like, my... She's again, she's again um, trying to use um, symptoms of other reactors for what was going on with her her blood pressure more than likely was not low um but i have talked many times about how my potassium deficiency has caused me to bottom out and um in recent weeks i was like 80 over 40, 96 over like 56, you know, some pretty scary numbers. And here she goes again. She never mentioned this before. She never said anything about having low blood pressure. But as soon as she sees one of us talking about it, she starts saying that it happened to her too. Blood pressure is 102. It's usually like 145. Anyway, mm -hmm. is there, she's like, you're sick. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's 36, Kim. <laughs> the up, yeah, it's all used items from them. Yeah, Marcel is like they sell in the, the pharmacies. I'm sure they have it in the States, too. I'm sure it's not just here, right? It's like the pharmacy makeup, right? But she doesn't need more than the pharmacy makeup because she's always putting the makeup on the dirty skin with the dirty hands. And stuff. Like, it's better that it's not Sephora prices. Mm -hmm. Actually, I showed you this. This is not a used item for my aunt. This is, I love this bag. That's fine. Aw. Uh, I love Alice in Wonderland, so it was cute. I don't know. I don't care where it's from. I don't care if it costs two cents. It's the thought that counts. Well, it's fine that you enjoy that gift. I think it's not fine that you tried to tell everybody that it was a handmade um, special gift that you got from a relative. Like, you have to be real about what you're saying, right? So, if it's just like a $10 gift you got from somebody in your family who bought it off Amazon, that's okay. Nobody gives a shit. But if you make up a fucking tall tale around it, that's going to be a problem. It's always for me. Because <clears throat> mm. I don't really need, like, anything. Like, I don't care about expensive, really expensive things. I can, you know, oh, right. if I want something more luxurious, I can just buy it myself. I'm not, like, you know what I mean? Oh, no, you can't. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> stop lying to yourself. You don't care about luxurious yeah. things and you don't shit on low budget things. You shit all over Motel 6 for how many years? Because you thought that was some kind of a flex because at the time you were making 20 grand and thought that Motel 6 was somehow below you. You couldn't afford a Motel 6 right now if you wanted one. So tell us again about all the things that you would buy yourself if you wanted them. Mm. And how you definitely don't care about well, like the monetary value of things. Mm -mm, that's not you. You're pious Mary Ham after all. Right. And so, but I probably wouldn't. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. And my aunt got me this book she thought would be helpful for me. It's called The Serotonin Power Diet. Use your brain's natural chemistry to cut cravings, curb emotional overeating, and lose weight. Boost serotonin to switch off your appetite. PhD, MD. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. The serotonin power diet started in a health club in 2001. That's where we met, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so like kind of like brain over binge, maybe? It sounds interesting. For more than 30 years, Dr. Judith Workman, PhD, has researched the connection between the brain, emotions, appetite, and overeating. Huh. By prompting the body to produce additional serotonin, the brain's feel-good chemical, the serotonin power diet curbs appetite and targets emotional overeating. In addition, okay, there's a 12-week program in here as well. Oh, okay. Well, that will be useful. I'll definitely read it. I know. This is going to be the new binge code. Remember that book that she kept throwing in our faces over and over and over during the BB era? This is the new one. Whoever Mm -hmm. gave her this. Thanks. I've never been to the UK. How is Aunt Phyllis? She's doing very well. She's doing very well. Oh, sorry. Jeez. Um... Oh, really? You did the gastric sleeve, Rachel? Nice. I, I wish you well. Luca, do you... Hold on. It's not only, yeah, receiving a weight loss book for your birthday, but on the other hand, also receives a fistful of gift certificates to different, like, coffee shops and restaurants and stuff in the court. So it's like, which which one is it? Is it the weight loss book or is it the enabling with the gift cards? I Both. Okay. Well, also, uh, all the Lush gift cards, let's be real, they also are giving her the indicator that um, she smells. She fucking smells, you guys. This was the card that my mom gave me on Thursday for my 50th. Okay, because we have very sarcastic humors in my family. My family doesn't say, hey, you need to lose a lot of weight. Hey, we're concerned about your health right now. You know, yes, I'm getting a lot of reminders that I have a... a, medical appointment tomorrow morning but um that's actually just a generic physical it's not even related to any of my leg issues but anyway (laughs) the point being is that um her family they love her And they want her to get better. And they're trying to do it in the way they know best. Which is, hey, let me give you a book. (laughs) Let me give you a gift card to get some soap. You know, they're they're doing it in the best way they know. And um, I got some cute stuff on my birthday I don't need to share all of it because I'm not insecure like Chantel is. <laughs> but um, point being is that um, it's kind of sad that that's how they have to communicate with her is, let me give you a book about how to lose weight. Both. Okay. <laughs> What's the gritty? <laughs> yeah, I love hand me downs. Whatever. Like, you know, I'm not ashamed at all. And a lot of them are always in good condition. Okay. So, this is not a hand me down. This was a part of uh, a birthday gift. So, this is like a um, Bath and Body Works thing. I like the bag. <laughs> and it has a trio, has a, it's a strawberry pound cake. Mm-hmm. <laughs> really, really smells so good. Oh my gosh. I want to eat it like I do. Nice. Um, it comes with the cream, which actually like is... Why would they buy you a gift that's like a, a body spray when your husband allegedly owns a perfume company? Yes. <laughs> that seems insanely just nuts, man. Why would they do that? Oh, unless the perfume company doesn't really exist or maybe they smelt the bees or spray hmm it's really moisturizing i find 
Shea butter, coconut oil, 24 hour moisture. So I usually use this right after. But plus the scents that they're choosing for her are like junior high scents. That's not the kind of stuff that you give to adult women. Oh my God. Shower. And it comes with a mini hand cream, which is like super thick, but it does smell like pound cake. Hold on. Is strawberry and blue cheese one of those mixes like watermelon and feta? Maybe it works. <laughs> Maybe that's why they gave her that. I don't know. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it smells amazing. Really? Now I have this Revlon. I kind of feel like it probably smells like the strawberry shortcake collection of dolls. That I used to play with uh, with my friends back in the 80s, but okay. It's 25 bucks? I would never buy this now. Like, do you guys remember how much I used to spend all my money? Like, I think, like, when I think back, it's like, I'm so ashamed of myself. Like, I would not ever spend. So this is this is why it's a hand-me-down. I would never buy this in, like, in my life. See, but I think that's stupid, and y'all know how cheap I am, but I do think that's kind of backwards thinking. You wouldn't buy, like, a product for yourself for $25, but you would not think twice to this day about spending $25 on a meal, right. one of your millions of meals. That's just stupid. Instant detail. Well, on top of it, she's talking about using this conditioner product after she's done showering and that's not how you use conditioner you put it on your hair let it set in for a while and then rinse it out you don't keep it in the whole time can you imagine i mean with all the crap that she's got all over her head right now you guys know better than me what this is all called the I don't know what it's called. I'm not even going to try. I'm not even going to try. Um, but the reality is that if you've got a lot of thick conditioner sitting on your hair underneath that fabric, it's going to, um, especially in the summertime when it's 100 degrees out, that's going to turn out to be really gross, you guys conditioner so i use this after the shower it smells good and it's actually like pretty much almost full and yeah my sister gave me that she has a lot of hair care stuff that she doesn't use for some reason she i don't know i swear she like cycles through different brands like every once a month or every week so then she gave me this which is good because i was out of shampoo and conditioner and i'm like okay but your sister is a nail technician right she doesn't have the full cosmetology license. She's a nail technician, and you've already rolled your eyes at her for having a real job. She has a real job, and she has access to buying professional products. But the reality is that she doesn't have the full license. So she cannot tell you how to use hair products. I would never buy this either. These are expensive, I think. Um, Wella shampoo and conditioner with lime caviar color protection, which I do color my hair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's another good point. Hold on. Hold on. What exactly are you detangling? That's not for the hair on her head. It can't be. How do three strands get tangled? What the fuck is she detangling? Is it for him? Is it for his junk? Ew. Like, not that she'll be detangling it, but maybe he requested that product. Marvin, thank you for the super chat. Everyone knows Henry Ford's wife caught the bus. Damn. So, um, so these are full. So, yeah, I'm going to take those. Then she gave me this eucalyptus spearmint hand cream, mm -hmm. which I don't really like the smell of, but I'll use it on my feet. My bag weighed 25 kg. It was over by 2 kg. Julia got me a fishy kiss. Yeah. You don't like the smell? I'm fairly certain you just told us that you bought eucalyptus um, Epsom salts in Canada. 
You don't like the smell? Okay. All right. I brought it. I packed it in my bag. That's why everything was overweight. Ma'am, can you get rid of the Wella conditioner? No. I got another new wallet. I won't open it because things are in here, but... Um, yeah, she... Or is it for his ass hair? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wasn't there like an ingrown ass hair thing? Maybe it's for that. Can do hair. Yeah. Yeah. She does it part time. Like, you know, she has her own like client. Mm, Jen, good point. Um, so she will dye my hair when I'm there and stuff like that. You know, mm. she'll layer my hair and stuff like that. So she has a lot of hair care stuff. So yeah. Um, so is she a nail te technician or is she a cosmetologist, Chantel? Because nail technicians do not have the legal right to actually do hair. Can you tell us like what kind of license she actually got? Is that water? What is that? Hold on. I think it's water. <laughs> yeah. You never know. No, I'm just joking. I don't even know what that means. So yeah, nice wallets. Another wallet. I have a lot of wallets now because of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Every time I go and get a new wallet. My aunt is so cute. She got me these like because she thought I was getting my own place. So she got me a few things. So these are just like spoons. So this is like a, a spread spoon. This is a these little forks. Oh, that's sad. So not only did you pull a like PayPal scam on your audience, you know, under the false pretense that you were staying and getting a place, you told your family that too, mm -hmm. possibly to see what you could get out of them. And your aunt bought you some stuff. Yeah. Oh, come on, Chantal. You're such a dick. That is the biggest dick move I've, move I've ever heard of in my life. Hijab Cheese, thank you for the super chat. Can we play games today? She's boring as hell. I don't think we're going to play games tonight, but tomorrow for sure. Look at these forks. They're perfect for my pickle picking. Uh, go visibility day. Uh, my hair's very long now. Well, it's like the hair. I'm growing on bullets. <laughs> Not intentionally. I'm sorry. Um, little spoons for sauces and things like that. For spices and sauces. I like, can always use those. And when mm -hmm. I'm smoking chicha and having a tea or coffee... I could have a cup warmer. So this will keep your tea and coffee warm the whole time. Yeah. All right. Also, my mom got me this. Now, one of the candles is missing. It's around here somewhere I saw it. I think Julia knocked it off the table and it rolled under the couch. Oh. But it's like a little candle set. So I'll probably just put this like in um, the spare room, like on the desk where I do my makeup and stuff. I think I'll put it there. I'm going to be putting my plaque, I think, in... I don't know where yet, actually. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have it? Because that's another thing. We haven't even heard another word about the plaque. The plaque was being replaced. She wants her plaque with Foodie Beauty on it. We get it. Okay. Where is it? Is it there? It's the first time she's mentioned the plaque at all. Mm-hmm. And she gave me this. Calvin Klein bag. I don't know. <laughs> like. This one came up, too. I, would, I, I made some mention about how you're going to get everything back to Kuwait. If you have all these extra purchases, are you going to have to buy a new suitcase? And that's exactly what she had to do. She had to buy a new suitcase to put all of this new stuff. And then she created a huge story about it being overweight. Okay. All right. My sister was like, I don't like it. It's too, like like too like older style and i'm like well i'm 40 so i don't mind i don't know it's a cute tote bag calvin klein tote mm -hmm. bag so if it's a lot of crap when we're going out we can put a bunch of waters and stuff i like it so yeah i don't know <laughs> when we're going out we can put a bunch of waters and stuff <laughs> right um i think that's about it i have to show you so yeah there's all my hand me downs <laughs> Put a little tea towel on the warmer, make Howie a heated bed. Oh, that would be a cute idea. I wouldn't, doesn't cook him though. No. Cute gifts, babes. Cute gifts, babe. That was so sweet of them. Thanks, babe. <laughs> yes. Can you put us in? Why is he not there? Why is he talking to you over chat? 
And he's not actually in the apartment with you. What's going on there, Chantel? In the tote, and I can even put you guys in the tote. How do you consider forty dollars for shampoo high, but not for a plate of food? But I don't buy this. Oh, exactly to the fucking beezer who said that. Exactly. How do you consider forty bucks for shampoo and conditioner expensive, but you'll spend that without thinking twice on food? Yes, mm -hmm. bitch. Oh, Miss Movie Buff, thank you for the super chat. Her hair is not down to her shoulders. Yeah, I don't buy that for a second. Well, uh, let me pose this, Frenchie. She has like five rolls of fat on the back of her scalp. So where does she consider her shoulders beginning? It's entirely possible that the nape of her hair does reach where she thinks her shoulders begin. I'm just being real. Rita Beezer, that's the thing. I would not buy $40 shampoo today, no. Cause you're I do nuts. consider that high. So anything expensive you see me have right now, like has been a hand-me-down for my family. Like I'm not. Oh honey, we know. <laughs> Angel of Temptation, thank you for the super chat. She's so broke, these are not worth bringing home. Hmm. Let's do half empty bottles of shampoo and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> that's that's pretty nuts. Pretty, pretty nuts. You're right. You're right. But again, oh my God, she probably gave it to her to start her apartment. Not to schlep back to Kuwait. Mm -hmm. Oh, because they all thought she was going to stay. She lied to them too. Right. Welfare girl. Thank you for the super chat. If her family member has a cosmetology license, uh, they will have access to specialty, specialty stores. Only licensed professionals can go to. Everything is half retail price. The hair products wouldn't be close. Let me clarify on that. Um, when you have a cosmetology license, yes, you can get everything at half price. But the type of stuff they sell there is professional product. It's not going to be your... Um, Ralph's and CVS brand of um, shampoo and conditioner and stuff like that. It's uh, This is going to be stuff that is sold in salons. And that's why you have a special access to these products. Like wax and everything else. Because, because you are selling it. They give you that discount because they expect that you are going to go back to your salon and sell their product. That's why they want to give that to you. And I'm sorry, but Finesse is not going to give that for you. <laughs> like... You're not going to get that from just like um, over the counter shit, you know? It's to $40 there. Interesting. Thanks for the info. Makes sense. Like the most expensive thing I have, like my, my ring, my glasses. Um, and yeah. You want to talk about how you have a muffin top over your ring now? How in just a few days you have swelled up so severely that there is a muffin top over your ring. And this is you just a few weeks after saying that your ring fell off, which nobody believes, by the way. But now you are so swollen that you have a muffin top over your ring finger. Uh, this is like, I don't know how much this was. Is it 40 bucks? I don't know. Yeah, probably 40 bucks a bottle or something. I don't know. I would not buy that with my own money. Like, no, I would probably just get like, even Lush is expensive for shampoos and stuff like that. I haven't even really been buying Lush. That's why I was so excited for the gift cards I got, you know? Mm -hmm. Addiction changes the way you view what you're buying, like drugs or food. Yeah, I mean, it's true, yeah. Um, But like, when I went to Canada this time, I don't remember food being that high in price it's crazy you know mm -hmm. and like <sighs> hi that's not playing melanie lane hi that's her point that you won't spend it on products but you will on food um 
I don't like spending that much money on food either. Like I'm very happy and content here with what we bought for groceries, like what we spent um, for everything we got. That's why I'm like happy we did the grocery order. And when we order out here, it's like eight bucks for the two of us. We can get like local food for really cheap in Canada though. Yeah. I spent a lot of money on takeout. Yeah. But yeah, that's what you mean. Yeah. The addiction changes, but you're right. That's, that's a big part of it too. Like, yeah, yeah. She changes the like goalposts to suit. I don't know her argument or whatever. Somebody say it's a perfect thing. You'd spend forty bucks on food, but not on a product for yourself. And, well, you know when we order out here, it's eight bucks, bitch. No one said anything about it being eight bucks there. Everyone was just saying about how easily you'll throw down money if it's the stuff in your face, but a $40 shampoo or conditioner. No, no, no. That's insanity. I would never spend that kind of money. Well, most people would never spend the kind of money you spend on takeout. So, you know, I'd rather have the nice shampoo. Mm -hmm. I exactly like I'm a food addict. So like I, I begrudge myself for spending the money on food, but it's like, I don't have self-control sometimes, you know? I saw free set. It really doesn't make sense. Actually, you're right. Like it doesn't. It doesn't make sense. So, like that's I prioritize the food over like conditioner. You know, wow. <laughs> but I don't like doing it. I hate myself for it. Look, I mean, you might as well just say I'm balding, and so it's not as much of a priority for me. That would be a better explanation than all of this bullshit about how you have to stuff your face. After. Thank you, Carrie. Even more confused when we're going to travel next. Yeah, I'm not, like, well enough to travel for a little while, especially a huge trip where there's going to be... Yeah, mm -hmm. let me guess. Oh, three months from a few days ago. Suddenly, she'll be feeling well enough to go on a little trip. Yes. Be, like, a bit of culture shock involved, um, stress... But the thing is, I'm going to be traveling with Salah, you know, inshallah, like I say all these things that we, inshallah, we will travel. Uganda bees. <laughs> I, oh, yeah, I know, Ghostface, it's crazy. I prefer spending money on food that will keep me healthy than spending on frivolous hair products and name brands. Yeah, exactly. Hi, OG Langwire. You don't go through the same brain process of pros and cons of what you buy. You just buy it because you need a fix. It's true. It's true. If you don't understand addiction, it doesn't make sense. Internet hate machine. <laughs> yeah, no, it's true. Exactly. North Korea. If I go to North Korea, I'll be instantly. Remember I made fun of Kim Jong-un's haircut one time? I, I Look, I apologize, Kim Jong-un. Your hair's fine. I don't know. I was just being a bee. <sighs> oh, my God. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Stop getting involved in politics because you really suck at it. He has thicker hair than me. That is expensive. Why am I drinking out of the bottle? There's ice here. Miami. Thanks, Matt's not playing. Yeah, we're going to do more vlogs. Mm -hmm. Rhonda, come to Brazil? He's watching right now. He probably uses $40. Is it Ta Taja? I want to apologize for calling you Ta. Marrakech? Yeah, we want to go to Morocco someday, inshallah, also. Do you know how much money I've spent? <laughs> Whenever I'm asked. I was asked if I wanted to start losing weight. I would just say, do you know how much I've spent on this stomach? Yeah, I spent a lot of money. Exactly. A lot of money is in, on my body. It shows right now. <sighs> Kim Jong is trolling too. <laughs> how many women does he have shampoo his hair? Great Wall of China. I would like to go there. Yes. Because it would be a walking challenge, you know? Actually, I think mm -hmm. part of how I get through, yeah, because he fits. <laughs> Rhonda, you're going to get us all killed. Oh, sorry, guys. I have to run around to the back for a pee. Ooh. No. How I get through the travel is I see it as a challenge, like a step-by-step -step challenge. Okay, I go by legs. Like, this is the first leg, the second leg. It's kind of a... Legs? Hold on. Isn't that what they call it on the amazing race? <laughs> yeah. On this leg of the race, that is literally what they call it. Does she pretend she's on the amazing race as she, like, waddles through airports and stuff? Oh no, I'm just Did you get that from me, Frenchie? Because I mentioned that the other day. Like of the amazing race? <sighs> she does. This is everything's like a game in her mind. <laughs> I kinda like that. If it would make you move faster in the airport, fine. But she, I mean she's crazy, but I I, I like that. <laughs> An adventure, but then this after leg. I get to my destination, I start feeling it like uh, 
I take off my compression stockings and I'm just like, I'm so tired and like swollen and ugh, I don't know, jet lagged. Something is always wrong with my body after I travel. So. <laughs> Go by and dancing with the president. Really, Ghostface? The cartel never came for us. Yeah, that's interesting to pay $104 for the overweight luggage, but then to say that the $40 half empty shampoo was like uh, uh, is that really worth paying the 104 dollars for that's pretty nuts just saying pixie thank you again for super chat foodie well and why can't she just get a wetsuit that you know covers all of the parts of her body that need to be covered for her religion and go down to the lobby pool because if she's saying that she feels swollen, but she was in cold water, that would actually relieve her swelling. 2025 Mecca base camp, great wall, six pack, boom. No, so we must never go to the cartel. Everest base camp? Oh boy, I don't know, Sam. That will be a while yet. Yeah, babe, it's really bad. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I do love shopping here and knowing that the what the price is, it's the final price because there's no there's no there's no tax on what you buy, like anything you buy here. I want to eat my yogurt, but see, I'm not hungry. Like I'm still not hungry. And you know what? If I listen to my body right now, I have heartburn from from the probably from the beef and the cheese. I gotta try to limit that. I'll only eat something like this maybe once a week. Yeah, I went camping with my daughter. Nice camping season is in. Yep. Okay, I'm skipping ahead. Mm. Metformin? I'm on some kind of metformin. And I lives in Morocco. Ah, you're going to go live there? Forest bathing. Ah, yeah. That's therapeutic, I hear. A wild ride. Julia! Boy! Hey, Julie! Oh my She's God, so cute. putting me to sleep. <sighs> yeah, when Salah was on a motorbike. <laughs> right, babe? Okay. Um, Taylor Swift, her like cliche song, I guess. Uh, the Doo-Wops. What do they sing? Just bussing. Thanks for the super chat. Oh, she said that since it was her birthday, they didn't charge her extra at the airport. That does mm -hmm. not sound legit. No. Um, the one where she the shake it off song. Hey, who's gonna hate hate hate? It's so true. Like it's so true. No matter what anyone does, if, like. If you're in the public eye, you're gonna have haters, and it's just better to shake it off. So that that's that's a true song, and she would know. Like I'm sure she has a ton of haters. I'm one of them. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> amnesia. Oh yeah, you were telling me to get the amnesia package. Yes. I'm, just, I'm like really like. I don't like. You know what I don't like about amnesia? It like overwhelms me. Is like the panic of having to run away and hide, like in phasmophobia. Previous couch. <laughs> from the previous couch because mm. the pillows are. You can never have too many pillows. Like, I sleep with about... Okay, you guys would freak out. <laughs> I sleep with three pillows under my head. Because I like to be a bit elevated. I hate being flat. Then I have... This is why her head is sticking out so far. Her neck is at an inappropriate angle. And she apparently is not going to a chiropractor and having this adjusted because um her neck looks like this she looks like this and um it's not good for you it's not good for your skeleton um and it's uh pretty sad that her head is sticking out so far like that. Then I have to hug a pillow and I have to have a pillow between my knees. So mm -hmm. like five pillows. I'm guessing the three pillow thing probably has to do with the sleep apnea. Now, before I fall asleep, I'm getting rid of this bitch. Get out of here. It is way too late on the weekend to uh, waste time on her talking about her pillow arrangement. Wow. Imagine having so little to talk about. You're talking about how, how you arrange your pillows to sleep and you call this content 
and accuse people of stealing your quality content. Mm-hmm. Keep producing this quality content. <laughs> I'm going to cry. Oh, my God. It's over. I'm so glad we started with the videos. It was the right call. I knew it. I just knew the live streams always make me lose the will to live. The videos, no matter how bad they are, you see, like, you go into a video. Ah, oh, this video is, I don't know, 15 minutes long. You know that it's, no matter how bad it is, it's just a countdown to the end of that 15 minutes. These fucking hour and a half live streams of nothing. How many times can you? Boy. Yeah. Oh my God. The sleep apnea and the pillows and the medical problems and my compression uh, stockings. Oh my God, man. <sighs> Chantal, keep it to the videos, please. <laughs> Fuck. Anyway, that's why we will always start with the videos and then end on the live streams on this channel. It's tactic. We have to tactic this bitch at this point. Fuck. There was a time not too long ago we'd be up watching together two o'clock, four o'clock in the morning. You never knew because you were playing on crackhead hours. You didn't want to miss a minute of it. Live stream, video. There was no videos. There was no time for editing. We were cracked out of our minds all the time. Oh, the good old days. And so <laughs> this week, throughout the week, when she doesn't give us, you know, either enough to work with or anything worth even watching together, we're going to be revisiting the beginning of crackhead Olympics together it was a fucking crazy time. She was full ass lying to us, coked out of her mind every day on stream and lying to everyone about it, thinking we're all dumb. It was, it was a glorious time in, in Shotopolis, in girl world. So yeah, throughout this coming week, we're going to sprinkle in some of those videos. I've picked some of the best. It's going to be one hell of a time. Veronica wants coffee. Thank you for the super chat. Is this what lit looks like? If this is lit, I don't want it. I'm going to stay extinguished think well certainly what shit looks like <laughs> uh aurelie thank you for the super chat pathological liar easier to tell a lie than the truth that's why she lies about tiny things like suitcase fees goes along with narcissism too makes a lot of sense mm. certainly does because a lot of her lies just make no sense at all so that at least makes them makes the whole thing have a little sense i suppose Oy. anyway y'all listen we're through it <laughs> we're through it like it's a war but we got through it it's done we are caught up in real time in Shantopolis whoosh whoosh y'all thank you so much for being here I really really appreciate it as boring as she is and the shit she gives us to work with you guys are always such a good time it's still always such a laugh I love this chat so much thank you for always being as clever and fucking on point and, and just so smart and funny I love you guys thank you Y'all enjoy the last little bits of your Sunday, whatever you're doing with your Sunday. <laughs> Soak it the fuck up. Enjoy every second of it. Please be safe. And uh, tomorrow, like I was saying, whatever she gives us to work with, of course, that'll always be what we start with. All right. And then we're going to slide over some, to some classic, classic crackhead Olympics, the very beginning. Oh, a simpler time. <laughs> Y'all take care, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Well, thank you, foodie, I'm sorry, uh, French Fried Coral, for um, covering the material tonight. I'm going to um, copy your link so that when I load up my version of it, I can give you credit. Um, and yeah, it's like 7 o'clock on the West Coast, so I might do some karaoke tonight. Let's see how it goes. Take care.